Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Simojo Homestead. I'm Jeremy. This is Cass? once again my lovely wife, Cassandra. Cass, you can call her Cass. All our friends call her Cass. Yeah. We are so glad that you are here. If you are new with us, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Yes. Can we just take a moment to admire this banana tree behind us? <laughs> it is like crazy. A crazy banana tree. <laughs> We did a video about a year ago, I think now, mm -hmm. talking about growing bananas and citrus in South Carolina. And we talked about, uh, I think that's actually when we planted that yes. banana tree. Yeah. Um, and it has exploded this year. So, which is good because I thought we lost it. Yeah. With like the freeze that mm -hmm. we had. Yeah. I, I mean, we buried that thing and then it did not come back when they should have been coming back. And then when it came back, it was like puny yeah. forever. I mean, it's really just been in the last month that this thing has exploded. Anyways. We're just going to hang out with you a little bit on the homestead today. We have something really fun planned for our turkeys. So we want to show you what we do with them. All right, guys, it's release day. Josiah is releasing our turkeys. Can you get it? Maybe. Can you help? No. So this is the first time that these turkeys are going to be let out to have full reign of the goat pen. So we're going to see how this goes. They have been very, very curious in the goats, have not been afraid of them at all. Whenever the goats come up to the pen, the go turkeys are like sticking their heads through, trying to kind of investigate, hey, what are you? So neither one of them are afraid of each other. I, my guess would be that the goats are gonna be the ones that are a little bit more hesitant to have something new in their pen. Having them out here, they will be able to scratch up some of the manure and stuff that's on the ground a little bit more. And do you need help? I'll help you out. And, um, well, I'm gonna like, I'll let you open the gate. Oh, you got it? All right. But scratch it up and just help it to compost down a little bit more. You gonna back up so they can get out? Here they come. They have been super, super eager to get out and explore the world out here. Hey, Joe, we only need one gate open. They do eat leaves. Majesty's like, what are these things? I'm not sure about this. It does fascinate me how the turkeys are so brave. They're not nearly as timid as I thought that they would be initially when we brought them in here. So <laughs> this is fun. Got a little bit of curiosity from the goats going on. Esther, what do you think of these guys? You're more interested in the camera, huh? Checking the goats out, pecking at them. I think that is hilarious. Majesty is just like letting them do whatever they want. So we're gonna let these guys just continue to explore. Joe's gonna hang out in here with them while I go cut grass. But um, they are they are loving this, getting really chatty. Here come the other goats. <laughs> so this may be my favorite thing about homesteading is just getting to watch the different animals interact with each other, especially when it's like the first time that they've ever seen something like that. You know, like this is the first time that the goats have ever seen turkeys. So it's just fun to kind of watch the <laughs> curiosity of the animals and really get to see their personalities come through, uh, as well as the turkeys. This is what makes homesteading so much fun, right here. That one's a tom. Yep, that one's a tom. And is that a tom? I think he's a tom too. So one thing that one of ours just did, we were just discussing whether or not he was a Tom, but he just puffed himself up, so he definitely is. That one, the far one. Um, he walked over to the our cat, Jeff, and really started puffing up. <laughs> our cat decided it would probably be best if he got out of the area. <laughs> but once again, just kind of the curiosity of the animals with each other and trying to figure out who's who and what's going on and what's all this new stuff happening. Ah, the gnats are terrible. Um, so I was in the garden yesterday and I wanted to show you something that I found, found our little cat, our little farm cat. He's hanging out in here, but something I found that was really fun for me. 
So we did not intentionally plant any loofah this year. We had great plans for it and just with everything going on, um, never did anything with it last year. We were gonna take a year off, but it is a plant <laughs> that wants to grow. And I was sitting by one of our raised beds, um, just kind of looking at everything, looking through the beans, picking them, and look what I found on our banana plant we have over here. It is a loofah, just like growing all crazy, all sorts of crazy in our garden. This thing just wants to grow. It is like taking over. I didn't even know there was one here and I see them everywhere. It's a little chaotic inside the house. Just, I don't know. The kids are starting school and um, they are going to school outside the home for the first time. And Josiah is excited and he is nervous and I think he's a little scared. And it is just making it where he just is requiring a lot of me. He's becoming very clingy and it's fine. I love hanging out with him, but sometimes I just need to come to the garden and walk in this space and have some time just to myself. So I'm walking through the bean teepee. <laughs> I love that bean teepee. I love this space. I feel like I can come and just relax and breathe and kind of get away from the chaos even though this feels a little chaotic with the way we, we planted this year. When I first saw it, I did call it my labyrinth. For me, it is such a reminder of my experience with a labyrinth. I don't know if you've ever experienced a labyrinth. When I was in college, we actually had someone bring a labyrinth to our school. It was this big canvas labyrinth and um, we, had it laid out in this big room. It was one of those times when like, I really needed to hear from the Lord and I did. The way you do a labyrinth is you walk in and you're just kind of telling the Lord like what's on your heart, your burdens, your worries, whatever. Then you go in the middle and you kind of just listen for what the Lord says. You sit and you just take some time to listen. And then on the way out, you reflect on what he said to you. And I honestly don't even remember what he said to me in that time. But I remember it being so important to me during that time in my life. So that's why when I like first saw this, it was set, it brought such joy to my heart because I felt like even though it, this is not a true labyrinth, it has that labyrinth feel and I can come out and even though I'm like having to go around the chaos of the beans growing everywhere and tomatoes kind of on going wild, it is a wild garden, but I'm having so much fun with it. It is just such a place of like, I can come and I can walk and I can pray and I can enjoy my surroundings, even decking through all the trellises and all of that. I've been walking through and kind of taking inventory. We have lots of okra that we need to pick tonight. I see lots of tomatoes that we're gonna need to pick. I did see some baby leaf-footed bugs. I'm gonna go ahead and deal with those tonight as well because they're on my tomatoes and a leaf-footed bug on a tomato will puncture it and it will suck all the juices out of it and it'll make that suction bruise um, and rot. There are some assassin bugs that are orange, so it's important that you learn to identify them. But okay, these bugs right here, the back leg actually looks like a leaf. And you can see, you might not be able to see from where you're looking, but the back leg is a little, the bottom of the leg is a little fatter than the top of the leg. And that tells me that it's a baby leaf-footed bug. And there are a couple. There's also several on this one tomato three of them to be exact. Beneficials typically do not come in clusters. So since there are several of them, that's another good, another sign that I need to go ahead and get rid of them. So the best way to get rid of them is, in my opinion, is soapy water. It's just quick. Um, you pour it on them and it suff the soap clogs their pores. They suffocate and die. Another way you can do it is diatomaceous earth. The diat diatomaceous earth is a lot farther away than my kitchen. So I'm just gonna run in the house and grab some soapy water and they'll be gone. 
So the other thing we've got going on is we've got some ribs on the smoker. Mm. Maybe celebrating taking our pigs today. Maybe just trying to make room in the freezer. I don't know, I'll let that be your call. But I'm excited about those because you don't get that many ribs off of a pig. I mean, there's only two sides to each pig. But we're gonna eat good tonight. We're gonna enjoy it. Also got some garden veggies we're gonna cook up. So it's just been a good weekend. Kind of enjoying being in between two seasons as far as gardening goes and homesteading goes and uh, all of that. So it is definitely just another dog day of summer though. I mean, Peanut agrees with me right there. It's hot again, but hey, it's summertime. We're enjoying it. We're making the most of it. Kids go back to school next week. So we're just trying to really take advantage of the last few days that we have together as a family before we get back into that hectic routine of just school and everything else. So I am really looking forward to those ribs. Yeah, me too. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be tasty. So we got you guys kind of high because we're in the go pen and I'm hoping and... that they can't <laughs> get to the camera. <laughs> but they will yeah. test that. They will. <laughs> That's okay. So highs and lows? Let's do highs and lows. These turkeys, turkeys are chiming are in. Yes. I am already loving these turkeys. It's been one day and I'm already loving them out in the go pen. <laughs> they like... I... I don't know if the goats share the same sentiment. No, I think they're still <laughs> trying to figure them out. <laughs> yeah, so highs and lows. Um, my high this week was definitely like gearing up for school. The kids are so excited. We went school shopping, back to school shopping. They were all so excited about getting their stuff for their class. Yes. In South Carolina, we have tax-free weekend for, yeah. for like back to school shopping. And that's this weekend. So, yeah. so we this is when that. everyone goes. <laughs> <laughs> we did that on Friday and got all their stuff for their class, for their supply list. So that was super fun. It was nice not having to buy their books. Like that was really nice. Yeah. Because we're not homeschooling. Yeah, we're not homeschooling. And my low is probably also that we're getting ready for school to start and they're going to be leaving. I have very like it's a it's a high and it's a low because I'm I'm sad. It's a big change for it everybody. It's a big change. So, so it it's going to be different and weird and a lot of days of just I like quiet but it's going to be a lot of days of quiet so we'll see. <laughs> I'll remind you of that when Chatty Joe gets into the uh, car after school. I know. <laughs> so I think my high actually was probably letting the turkeys out today. That was way more entertaining than I thought it would be. <laughs> it really was. Don't know why. It's the simple things in life, guys. Yes. Simple things in life. Yeah. But we did take our pigs this morning. Oh, yeah. Um, so had our neighbor, John, come back and help us dispatch them here. And then we take them to the processors. John is, his family is, ow! Cool. Oh, you stupid goat. Sorry, the goat bit my finger. Um, <laughs> but John's family, uh, we were raising a pig for John's family. And so he was just kind of helping out because he's a good guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited to get the meat back. Mm -hmm. I do think that that might be kind of a low, though, for the week. is just because it's always hard to dispatch animals that you've raised. Yeah. Uh, but we chose it. We, you know, welcome that lifestyle. It's just part of it. Yeah. So, it is one thing I think I've said in another video, like I hope that that's something that never gets old to me mm -hmm. and it hasn't. It's still kind of like a, you know, it's sad. Um, but when that food comes back, it's so worth it. It is. It is so worth it. It is. Well, and just knowing the kind of the quality of food we're eating, it's right. Just worth it. Right. So, you know, it's nice to have that break. <laughs> yeah. It's one less thing that that's on my chore list now yeah. for the time being until we until we get more. Yep. But. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with us around the homestead today. Yeah. I hope that you enjoyed your time with us. We hope you have a great week and be blessed.